Staples Arena, jammed to capacity for Game 6 of the Western Conference semifinals. Utah Jazz with a four-point lead. They have taken command with their half-court offense, and Mike Fratello, Hornacek has 10 points in this game, and that's a major factor that I'm sure Jerry Sloan's very happy about. You're looking to see who gets off early in the game for both teams, and in this particular case, Hornacek has had good looks at the basket, something he didn't get in the last two games, so I'm sure they're extremely pleased with their execution and Sloan told us that was the key to the whole thing. Let's take a look at the game summary after one quarter here in McNichols. The Jazz lighting it up early and as Sloan told us in our meeting today, we just need to run our sets and we'll be fine. Matumbo does set the series blocks NBA record. He had a couple of them in the first quarter as earlier mentioned. Hornacek playing well. Abdul Raouf hit a couple of jumpers very quickly to start. Opportunity baskets and each team trying to take advantage here an offensive rebound by Bryant Stiff and we mentioned these teams don't get a lot of shots during the course of the game so you got to work to get extra ones and then the guy who is always key for Utah the little UCLA cut by John Stockton has produced two baskets already in this first quarter for easy scores and then after a personal foul Brian Williams argues with the official Ed Rush Dan Issel runs out, tries to pull him off before he gets a technical foul, but it's too late. The technical is administered. Williams goes to the bench for Denver. Corralling the emotions of a young team whose oldest player is Reggie Williams is something that Dan Issel has turned into an art form. And in Game 6 history, the Jazz 1 and 2. You know, this is a, a Nuggets team that needs to have its backs to the wall. I mean, they have been most effective when in this situation. They've staved off five elimination games coming in. That sense of urgency seems to do something for this young basketball team. Really a collegiate atmosphere in this town as they ready for Game 6 for that. Chambers down low as Malone comes out high. And Malone is two for six from the floor right now. One hook shot inside. Everything else is tough from the perimeter. Rogers uses a strong upper body. And Muscle a hard time playing it straight up. Stockton strips Rodney Rogers. Numbers now for the Jazz. Three on two to the mailman. Not many big men run the center lane. <laughs> 31 25. Jazz by six. Equaling their largest lead. Ellis finds Pack. Reggie Williams spots up for three. The dub down to Carl and he knocks it home. Or Malone. Oh, you know he's focused tonight. Very rare he has three bad games consecutively. A turnover by the Nuggets. Stockton fouled. Count it. Pack committed the personal. I think Matumbo has had an effect during the regular season. Utah shoots almost 48% as a team. In this series, 43%. On Moon Abdul Raouf in the game did not see that pass from Rodney Rogers. Stockton finds the trailer. Chambers counted on the foul. A mistake, an accident by a young team. Play, Reggie Williams clears and pushes. Really doing a nice job of getting back to Vincent. Ellis, a leaner, softly in the paint. Sweeping Orlando in three straight and now beating in the, uh, Indiana, uh, rather Atlanta in their series. Certainly a hot team and our congratulations to Larry Brown and the Indiana Bulls. Spencer locks up with Ellis on the low block. A tumbo to help, but he's a bit too late. It's hard for the top of the circle to block that shot from behind. 41-34. Utah by seven. Williams likes the matchup and will pull up over Hornacek. And will follow. Oh, my. No attempts per game. Going to the basket strong, getting fouled. And what you just witnessed in the playoffs, particularly in this series, the exception rather than the rule. Two misses by Matumbo. Malone. Swift into the paint and makes it count. Four attempts during the game normally. Of course, they go to the foul line so often they don't get the field goal attempt marked against them. waiting for an offensive explosion from the Nuggets, but Utah getting back well defensively. You understand that 
this team wants to run. So what you talk about in your preparation is the transition defense and how important it is not to give up any easy baskets. That was with his first team from the corner has been solid since. Stockton. Incredible for 28 of the Jazz 47. Obviously an area that Utah tries to explore is when Raouf is in the game, make him work defensively. They know he can do that. Score the man's goal oh, back still. Malone past Williams. It was Williams that rejected that one. And the solo. Very quick on the ball defensive team is different. Team. And then the recovery by the team also is excellent. Corbin up top. And he drops one home. Tyrone Corbin. I don't want to hear about situations and setting up scenarios. If it's a foul and there's time left on the clock, they call the foul. That's how the rules are supposed to be interpreted. Stop reading into them. If they just do that to the officials, then everybody will understand what to expect. Pat takes it into the paint and draws the foul. And again, not able to set the tempo. Still play offense with 19 seconds remaining before the half. With the foul taking place, he switches and brings back Tom Hammonds, takes Reggie Williams down. Stockton. Stockton was deflected and kicked. And we get a big guy running alongside him. He's always leaning into the big guys. And then some heavyweights in strikes tonight. Ed C. Rush, Dick Bavetta, and Joe Porter. And we're at halftime. 53-48, the Jazz by five, and Carl Malone does answer the bell. The mailman will not have three consecutive poor performances, 19 points, seven of 13 from the floor, as he looks to go to the next level in the NBA playoffs. Ernie and Don coming up next for this Jazz team. 45-48, seven-point lead. Just underway second half from the Mile High City. Tim Rando, Mike Fratello. Ellis off the pit from Dikembe. And alone brings down a seventh rebound of the game. Corbin to dump down the car. Looks to Stockton up high. Just run your stuff, right? Very comfortably against this Nuggets team in the first three games. I think Jerry Sloan is one of those coaches who's gone unnoticed. The fact that they have won a lot of basketball games as Tom Chambers faces up and hits from the outside. Oh, gets in the way. Stiff. Blows past Hornacek. Baseline. A matchup advantage that the youngster from Virginia recognized early. And he has eight. 59-53. Stitt so comfortable down in that baseline area because he played so much small forward when he was in college. Hornacek drains it from the perimeter. That's by eight with eight remaining here in the third. right now. Denver trying to get into a certain set. They want to go to Matumbo. They couldn't decide who was supposed to make the entry pass. There's the Williams cutter. Matumbo found it. Well, maybe... Fans here have been waiting for that major league run that they have been yet to see tonight. Matumbo. Drop step delivery. Right over Chambers. He has 13. The lead down to four. What you say to yourself, why don't you take Chambers off and put Paul Malone on the big guy? But you can't have Malone working so hard at both ends of the floor that he's going to wear out on you. He had a big, big first half offensively for the Jazz. Hornacek. Oh, the answer. Ellis has his pocket picked by the mailman. Four on three for Stockton. The trailer is Hornacek. Timeout, Denver. John Stockton let that fast break develop. He let those big guys run hard, and then he just waited for his teammate. Hands in the swipe by Malone. It starts to break, and as Stockton pushes, he lets everybody go down, except he finds his buddy behind the three-point line. Jeff Hornacek with the three. 
Dave Humphries has also checked in. Bill check packed in the back court. And Dikembe takes advantage. There's a criticism of Robert Pack. It's his decision making and the turnovers that he causes by making bad decisions. Corbin rejected by Williams. Every time we've seen a rejection, we've seen Utah get back defensively and force the Nuggets into a half-court game. Williams for three. Oh, the slam by Matumbo. That will no doubt excite Big Mac. And now a foul against Matumbo is Hornacek. Got his arm involved and Dikembe became very emotional as the foul was called against him and Dan Issel agrees. This is that time he was called against the Tumbo body checking on the cut. Hornacek bothered by Williams and gives it up. Shot clock at seven. A runner. Boy, and everything falling for Hornacek. With us today, talking about this game in particular, Paul Malone. You know your troopers are going to show up. You know which guys you can count on. Everybody goes through a stretch somewhere along the line, but you also know which ones recover most quickly. Paul Malone is one of them. And yeah. times they are changing. And you got to make a move when you're in your prime. Hey, let's give credit to Utah as well. You're talking about Humphreys, Corbin, Hornacek, Chambers, all guys who played for other teams in the past. Brian Williams finds still. Pack. And the Pac-Man has nine. What stopped them so far is the ability of Utah, Utah to make big shots, also to go to the free throw line and stop those swings. Malone. Oh, Carl. That's another example as Hornacek running off a curl. Shot clock under 10. Humphrey on the way. Malone on the offensive board. And the fresh clock, which is only a half second differential from the game clock, means they'll get the last shot. Jeff Hornacek saying, wait a minute, don't come and set the screen too early. I want to run this thing down a little bit. Corbin. Look back, won't go. And we've come to the end of the third. Jeff Hornacek has been the stopper of a Nuggets run all night long. 22 points tonight, and in this quarter, an even dozen. Two for three from beyond the arc. More from McNichols. Stay right where you are. Pack sets up shot for three. Rogers on the glass, stripped by Malone. Ellis, a leader, using the glass to bring the Nuggets to within six. The crowd kind of sensing that this might be their time to make the run right now and get them right back in the game. The legal defense is spotted by Bill Forte. Yes, with two more spotted against them than the Nuggets. Only two violations, one against these teams spotted tonight. Nice look to pack from Ellis. Lafonso with the look to the Pac-Man, and the crowd rises to attention in the Mile High City. Instead of passing and spotting up, or passing and cutting opposite, that time Pac made the hard cut down the lane.
frustration committed by the Nuggets. Both teams on every foul will go to the foul line for two opportunities. Translation, this one's going to take a while. Smith gets the deflection. Numbers. We're tied at 76. Let's remember the one guy who's sitting out right now that was making shots for Utah is Jeff Hornacek. You got to get him back in there at some point. He had played a lot of minutes. And Gary Sloan making the move right now, Mike, as if on cue. Utah without a field goal in the last six minutes. Stockton out of bounds. Ushered out. Foul spotted against Denver. Begin to take over. Hornacek back in. Two-man game with Stockton and Malone. Hornacek forces it inside and draws the foul. And we just saw what the percentage goes here in the fourth quarter. Three-point range, near perfect from every ring. It's 79-78. Utah by one. Six and a half remaining. Game six is the Jazz look to become the second team tonight on TNT to make their way into a conference final. Indiana did it earlier against the Atlanta. Houston and Phoenix to come immediately after our game. Back off the dribble. 13 for Robert Pack. They're leaving Robert Pack. He's the guy going back to double teaming. The Tumbo trying to save Spencer from getting his sixth foul. Pack, Pack knocks out that jumper. There's not much else they can do. This was on this event-filled NBA playoff night. Pack, six minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter. And he's nine for nine in the strike. 81-80, Jazz. Hornacek, along with Stockton, Spencer, Aaron, Corbin, and Tom Malone in the game. A tumble jump hook, too low. He'll follow. Can't get it to go. Loose ball, we got a tie. Jump ball between LaFonso Ellis and Corbin, and Denver wins the toss. Dumbo working against Spencer with the five. Just some token help by Hornacek. But Matumbo can't get it to go. I don't think there's any secret on Denver's part where they're going with the basketball and what they're trying to do right now. You just got to stop them. Since the run by the Nuggets, the game has settled into a bit of a half-court grinder, Mike. And Malone loves that. 83-80, Jazz. into the game to replace Tyrone Corbin. So a tall lineup for the Jazz and a foul spotted against Jeff Hornacek. We see it. Hornacek has now made the trainers of the Jazz aware of it. 83 82. But you're right, the officials as yet have spotted it. season, an 80% free throw shooter. Two point lead for the Jazz. The Nuggets have led twice. We have three lead changes during the last five minutes. And as Ellis goes into the paint, he draws the foul. Maybe it should have been given to Carl Malone. Fields to follow from America West as soon as we're done here. Four 
ten remaining. Jazz by one. Tim Brando, Mike Fratello, happy to have you with us on TNT, a very special triple hitter night. Hornacek, cleared by Ellis. Matumbo wants it. Now gets the double team. Penetrating into the painted area again. Count it and a foul. Oh, he he gobbles them up just like the electronic game once he gets into the painted area. And the nuggets by two, and the house is coming unglued. going to get a more wide open shot than that and again I ask you going into the fourth quarter Malone had played 33 out of the 36 minutes it's building up and taking its toll on Utah Matumbo timeout Utah they're on their feet in Denver been going to the foul line quite a bit in the fourth quarter. That's due in large part to the bench strength of this Nuggets team. And Stockton has only taken two shots in this half. And Malone finally gets an easy look and draws the Jazz to within two. Stiff posting up Hornacek. the pump. Off the front iron. Malone, we've got a tie ball. Great work and hustle by Ellis. The jump ball situation. Considering the strength of Malone's upper body, you really have to appreciate what it took to, just to get the tie ball with one arm. Well, I usually beat Malone in the arm wrestling competition each summer, but... <laughs> two minutes left and a two-point game. Utah looking to close out the Nuggets. Denver saving off elimination. Chambers. Loose ball run down by Chambers. Malone gets a good look and knocks it down. We're tied at 88. Stockton to Malone. Timeout Denver. Stockton to Malone. Denver hears it again. Four quick unanswered by the Jazz to tie it. Ellis working against the team, who has five. Brian Williams back in the game for the Nuggets. Shot clock at four. Stiff has to put it up. Oh, a big shot by Brian Stiff. Mark that one down in your memory bank. He has 12. And Utah has done an excellent job of defending, recovering. They match back up. There was nothing to do, but Stiff had to get the shot off. When the clock would have run out, he knocked it down. Malone. Jump hook in the lane by Carl. He has 31. Let's credit Utah's guard, Stockton and Hornacek. They are fearless in setting screens up against big bodies down low to free up Carl Malone. Run through Ellis. Nice save by Pack on the cross court pass. He's rejected. Only two on the clock, and Stockton gets free. Numbers to Chambers. Rejected and fouled by Stitt. Good play by both teams. During both this series and the San Antonio. 37.4 remaining in the game. So Utah should get at least one more possession. He misses it. Williams brings it down. And a quick timeout called by Denver. Williams will trigger it in. And I'm sure they will pay special attention to Williams after he passes it inbound. Matumbo gets it. Spencer checking it. Help 
Mutombo takes it inside and draws the foul. Point three seconds away. Thank you. 